Hi Collective, welcome to my channel, Cosmic Divine Seeker. Might want to put my makeup here, huh? <laughs> I thought I would come out of my little hidden area and do a reading out here. This is my bigger deck too, my biggest deck that I have. Look at how big this is. I actually got this for my birthday last year, so it would be fitting for me to bring it out, right? <laughs> I just got my new birthday deck. Finally did a beautiful reading this morning for um, for Divine Feminine. I It was supposed to be for anybody, but the of course the bonus feminine cards were coming out. Um, a Mystical Moment deck is amazing, by the way. It's so beautiful. If you have not um, worked with it or seen it, because I feel a lot of you are going to be getting into tarot, right? And getting out of decks. And if you're a feminine, that de that deck, oh my gosh. It's got um, a feminine emperor card as a bonus and four feminine kings that you can use along with it. So it was beautiful. So, of course, right off the bat, I um, had two of the feminine kings come out, right? So very, very powerful. So anyway, I've always said that. This was like my twin flame deck because I have always picked up the gold, um, the gold decks I always feel guided to for the twins, right? You know, chosen, golden, because, you know, that's when you're going to be coming together. Golden era, golden age, age of Aquarius, right? After peace and harmony and all of that. I don't know. <laughs> so 144 on the clock as I say that. I've tried to do a couple of recordings already and my camera keeps glitching and slowing down. I know retrograde is coming. And like, oh my gosh, are all those snakes? I just looked up at my daughter. She loves to watch Come Play With Me. It's a cute little YouTube um, <clears throat> show little girls that, that play with their Barbies and everything, and they're in a pool of snakes. I just looked up and seen all the snakes. I don't know, symbolism. And then I was noticing that locusts have been everywhere. And now there's creatures on this three of coin. What is going on with these creatures? Do you see this? Look at the three of coins. Let me hold it up close. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's a cute. Just give you guys a kiss. So, um, but yeah, they're ants. It's a bunch of ants. See, it's got to be significant, right? That I call out the, the snake. And that's already off. Now they're playing with foam or whatever. But anyway, the snakes, the ants. And I was looking at a locust on the outside of the glass. And I noticed that one was in the bathroom when I was, um, I was bringing my selenite out here, actually. So I'd already moved my computer out here. <clears throat> it had gotten in the window I'd opened there this morning, so there's something to do with that. I don't know, you could look those up as symbolisms or maybe they're messages for you. But anyway, so the three of coins is about teamwork, assistance, asking for help, mentors, apprentice, learning, and study. So you could definitely be coming together with others, asking for help, things like that. We're just kind of seeing collectively what comes out here. Seven of Coins, about harvest season, right? Patience, rewards, perseverance, results, dividends, progress, and profit. Interesting. And the Six of Swords came out as well. So, better times, moving on, progress, calmer waters, healing, mental stability, and transition. So, each of these stacks have their own unique, you know, um, messages within them keywords it's how you interpret them as well that's what stands aside from any other reader that's why even having the same deck still you can get different messages um things like that that come out it's very important to know that and the sun success enlightenment joy happiness childlike energy often on the sun card you'll see a child right a lot of times you see a vulnerable child like naked right dancing on on the horse whatever um because it's being free setting your inner child free being free to pursue your dreams and desires on this one there's a carousel here right you know and it's it's that innocence like every young child wants to go on a carousel right 
And it's like, say you didn't get to go on one as a child, you need to go on one as an adult, right? And even when you do get to go on a carousel with your kids, or even if you just go on it, you know, I remember I was so excited when, when our, our local mall had gotten a carousel in it. And as teens, like we had so much fun and people would be laughing, like, look at those teens on there. But still it was like, oh, I don't care. I know I've always been about that. Wow. Look, living life for me, not others. I mean, I do. It makes me happy. The moon. So mis mystery, subconscious, secrecy, illusion, fear, phobias, paranoia, and obsession. So it's interesting the sun came right out, and I'm going to keep this to my five cards because I felt that's why my reading glitched off before because I feel a mess up my reading because these cards are bigger. I was like, well, let me just cut two of the cards off the normal spread that I do, and shifting the positions can really influence my reading. So I get that. You know, like when readers, like when they say they get so upset that their reading doesn't go through or they get glitched off or it stops recording or whatever, like, and I feel that I'm talking to a lot of you that are going to be starting up channels or getting into or whatever. When there's interruptions, when things happen, they happen for a reason. You could have had something wrong that you could have had some sort of, some just something happened, right? Um, it's not meant for, maybe it was more of a personal message. Maybe some of your own stuff got in there for you. Let's say you're trying to do a ring for somebody else, right? Where we could have altered the reading. For whatever reason. Things happen for a reason. They always do. So when you realize that. Just go with it. That's a message. It's a message or something. So the world card is coming out here. Completion, wholeness, attainment, fulfillment, triumph, and an end of cycle. And page of swords. Written message, communication, ideas, information inspiration and directs each of these I feel guided to read the messages on them I see oh they're making popcorn oh we got perspective here sacrifice letting go surrender enlightenment delays reflection and insight let's see we got ace of coins Hold on, I'm getting distracted just a minute. Let me get the last card out. And two came out. What's interesting is as justice came out for the final card, so did five of swords. So it's two ways I'm feeling. This is like you battling for your justice. But it's also justice coming from all of this five of swords energy. I feel you've really been having to fight for this justice, but you've, you've been in a battle. Mommy! So... Mommy. I see the little minions. That's interesting. A minion and a lion. They're both wearing yellow tees. And I've been picking up a lot on yellows. I've been talking a lot about color therapy, the colors. Um, and this is the same little episode she put on everybody. Now he's in a big bird. The whole family is wearing yellow. And I see he's got the big bird yellow shirt on. She's got the lion and the, the minion. Hmm interesting cute all right and look as i say that she's wearing a yellow dress can you see i can't make it up i just realized i don't even know why i pulled this over to the they should have been here i was going to look up what this perspective was because i'm working on my roman numerals <laughs> um it's the hanged man Okay. I don't know. I need to stop saying that I struggle with them because I don't think I really do anymore. But because they say I do, I am. Because with this one, I, I couldn't tell. It's, it's completely different, right? Now that I look at it, the picture, the imagery is upside down. So that should have stood out to me. Okay. But I wouldn't have known if I didn't look and see that the water is upside down perspective so it's like somebody's peace their their life has been upside down turned upside down it's like if you look at this upright there's a beautiful deer in a pond relaxing actually it's up on a path that appeared to be in the pond but there's a duck swimming in the pond 
there's beautiful hummingbirds it's very beautiful landscape there very beautiful kind of looks like harmony peace on earth right very beautiful but it's like it's upside down because somebody has been causing chaos somebody this could be multiple people it could be children picking up a lot on the children if you look that child holding that page of swords standing there with the grin on her face mm, little chaos causer some children do come in and cause chaos because they don't feel as though they're loved right so they feel as though they kind of have to be a chaos causer to get that love right not enough attention fighting for attention something all my children do it's like I got four of them, and they're always competing with each other, always in competition. I used to always think they were in competition with each other until I realized that a lot of times it's competing for, like, mom's attention and, and, and things like that. Like, like come on. <laughs> like, anyways, um, Page of Swords, you know, it could be about strategizing and about looking into getting, um, putting together a plan, um, you know, acquiring the knowledge, the skills, the information that you need. But the page of swords can also be somebody that's kind of digging up stuff on somebody, kind of causing, like, I'm kind of getting, there's like a gossiping energy. I'm getting that there's been like a child that has been kind of maybe getting in, getting um, messages or getting knowledge and sharing it and maybe putting their little turn the little twist on it as children do they love to story tell and make a story sound more elaborate than it is oh, i see Ooh, ooh, is that it's pandy yeah it's pandy well i'm out here with my little girls so. <laughs> yeah ooh. we'll get all of those when we get our new home that's right okay shh mommy's doing her video so, um, there's this energy of, um, we're having the Page of Swords right next here to the perspective. It's about getting a new perspective. I mean, maybe for some of you, I, they, you could be seeing like, I don't like it when people, m mommy is working. Maddie. Shh. Shh. I see him. But I don't like it when people look at children and, um. I mean, yeah, they may be causing some chaos or whatever, but there's a reason why they're doing that. You know, there there's a reason why they're they're children. They're they're it's either learned behavior. There's even something that they're hiding. There there's an underlining reason why. Normally, a child is acting out because they're in pain. They're, you know, there's something there. There's some sort of healing that is needed, right? So I don't feel as though you should ever give up on them, right? Or look at them as you as you would an adult that's creating chaos and stabbing you in the back or doing whatever. Children get that child childhood innocence for a reason. They're learning, and a lot of the, you know, it's learned behavior, or they're acting out and, and there's some sort of trauma or something and it might not be it could be all about perception right and sometimes it could be your fault too and i and i know that could have upset some of you but it's just like for the longest time that i didn't realize that i had such deep inner child woundings that i fully wasn't giving love and showing love I was giving all the love that I thought I could show, but in my children's eyes, it might not have been enough. They might have felt as though, well, and I know they did. A lot of them were like, well, my mom's not as affectionate as other moms. She doesn't, like, say she loves me every day, all the time. She doesn't hug and kiss on me every time I leave or whatever, and other moms, they do that. And it's like, with me, it's like, when my children were little, I had no problem whatsoever. But once they got older, then it was hard to, I didn't know how to approach them and hug them and kiss them and say, I love you all the time. Because I, you know, in words, because I didn't ever experience that. My father showed me through buying things. So then I thought that I could do that. Throw my children elaborate birthday parties and buy them everything that they wanted and always being the or ATM, you know, like they got to know this is love because I, I give them everything that I have whenever they want something, but they just turn into spoiled brats. 
<laughs> and then they just expected everything. Then my boyfriend comes in like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, the ATM, mom's not an ATM. Like, because he started to see them being ungrateful for it. And then they started to be like, well, who is this guy to, you know, to stop mom from giving us whatever we want? And it caused a lot of problems, which we're still working through. So anyways, like I say, it's about perception, right? Then there, so things can be getting all mixed around, turn around anyway. So what, that's strongly what I'm getting because it's going in alignment. I see her. It's going in alignment with um, my other readings where the, the other decks I was guided to is about like an intervention, a divine intervention um, and, and surrounding around children. And now I realize that the child coming out in the Page of Swords, I know that the Page of Swords can represent younger, youthful energy. But this is like a straight up little girl on here. So I'm getting there. There's, you know, like a young child that has been, you know, wounded, causing, causing some, some chaos here because of some woundings, right? And it could be male, female, you know, this is just, this is energy, even though it's, a, it could be both, it could be multiple, you know, um, but yeah, there's this five of swords here, you know, and when I think of the yellow dress too, I think of Cinderella, that story, somebody could be feeling as though they're Cinderella, there's see there's another page of wands i told you there's there's multiple children i feel young energies that are an influence here but five of swords is it's time for this conflict this fighting this aggressive this this bully look it even says bully on there sacrifice intimidation abuse like it needs to come to an end so this is definitely what's going on let's get clarifiers out on each of this kind of keep going because i feel like i could just channel a whole message on on children and healing and <laughs> but there's a lot of healing all around this bond you should check out my other readings you know if you feel guided to this one because you know well i always see the energy that's surrounding me so i always tell you whatever you come in on you should take a look at surrounding readings because you know they build off of each other whether or not they're you're going to feel that they're they're for you, but that locust still keeps catching my eyes, jumping on the window there. Mm. I don't know what that is about, but wow, two of cups and two of wands, it just split the deck on, so. Soulmates, attraction, companion feelings, and I was talking about that, that children could be affecting partnerships and soulmates, two of wands, choices, a fork in the road, decisions, and decision, pause, timing, planning, and taking the first step. All right, well, let's clarify those three of coins as teamwork, assistance, asking for help. I do feel that there's been, like, synergy here, outsider help for healing. And as I see at the Four of Swords, you know, rest, exhaustion, retreat, recuperation, time out. A child could be getting a big time out. It's funny how I do it, like a spanking. To me, spankings only work for toddlers, right? And that's only when they're really, like, they run away from you and, and p endanger themselves. Or so, like, yeah. But, like, when you get older, you, you can't use physical punishment. It creates a whole bunch of emotional trauma. We learn that the hard way, right? Us millennials. So, <laughs> I mean, it, it goes far back. I'm not just saying just us, but, yeah. Times are different. So, Knight of Cups is coming out here. Next to the two of wands is interesting. This nine of cups wants to come out romantic. So this is an offer of love. I'm trying to relate it here because I was talking about the, um, you know, like me struggling with saying I love you and all that. Like, ugh. so I was saying, ugh. I was like, do offers of love need to come out here? There's something about love here. They're showing me the two of cups, the nine of wands, the knight of cups. See, there's been some sort of blockages and challenges and obstacles for a love to be expressed. I need to know more. Tell me about the seven of coins. Hermit energy. 
That's somebody staying isolated, staying in solitude. Five of Cups. Because of a loss, grief, living in the past, isolation, like somebody's kind of closed off to love. And I've been talking about that as well in the readings that divine feminines need to heal an inner child wounding to be able to receive love. Yeah. Seven of Swords. See? Wearing a false mask is kind of like wearing that mask acting like everything is okay and fine when you're really wounded. And when you act like everything is fine and you're so tough and you're in this fighting mode, it's hard to receive love. So real love is trying to come in and be offered and it could be love from a child coming in as well. And that's something that I'm starting to realize that I was kind of shut off to receiving love from everybody because I was so, I keep looking at these eggs. <laughs> She's looking at Easter videos, I guess now, but of um, like being isolated, being closed off, you know, she's closed off, right? Not wanting to get, feel pain. Four of Wands is here. Stability, structure. They have their backs turned. That's why I say that this is so beautiful with the twin flame. Is a, is a lot of twins have to walk away from family. Because a, a lot of family, there's a lot of karmic family members. A lot of times, you know, the traumas that you in fact have are in your genes from your your bloodlines from your parents so a lot of times it's like it's encoded in your dna for you to feel abandonment for you to feel not loved enough and it might not even really be that you're feeling that way it's just in your dna it's like your children could literally feel as though they're not loved enough because it's in their dna because that's how you felt so even though you may have showed them all the love in the right ways i'm saying not saying that you're like me i just put a little bit of my story out there for some of you maybe to realize it if you didn't but um but say you loved your child the right way say you're one where you do, you know but your child still feels that way it could literally be because it's in their dna because that's how you felt when you were growing them you know if you're a feminine watching this you don't realize it's in the dna or it could literally be in the dna from the father and see that's what i'm starting to realize with my children is that you know i had a broken family so do my children's fathers they're so and their DNA, like, it's just in their DNA on both sides, right? So they have a lot to overcome. And it was kind of like destined to happen that way. With as much love, I could show them every amount, ounce of love that I had. That for Anyway, see what I mean? It's a wounding that they have to overcome, right? So they're showing me the lovers and the queen of wands. So, yeah, I can very much influence your relationships, your situations. That's why you'll hear our karmic children, and I don't like to say karmic children because it's not like it's their fault even. But yeah, if you were broken and you have a relationship and not a healed setting, then you're going to have a child that's going to have karma, your karma, and now you're going to have to face that, and you're going to have to heal you and heal them. So that's a karmic child. It's your karmic child. You created more karma for yourself because you had a child when you still had karma. It's not their karma. It's not them being karmic. It's you just created karma for yourself. And I believe me, I see it. There's so many times I'm like, oh my God, I'm battling with little me. Like literally that's me down to a T. And then it's like, it's like I want to embrace that, you know, like I had to let my daughter go. I had to give her freedom and let her go live with her grandmother because when I was 16, like I tried to emancipate myself and my father ripped up the paperwork and wouldn't let me do it. And it's like, at the same time, I was like, this defiance is in her genes. It's me. And I want her to feel stronger than ever, stronger than I was, and I want to give her what I never had, so, and it was also, I knew it was going to be an intervention, it was going to heal her, I needed to get her away from another toxic family member, but I was like, I, it's like, I have to do it, and I know that when she's older, that she's going to realize, mm -hmm. but, like, but then it went through the trauma of, I think, of her feeling she wasn't loved enough because I let her go. So then it, like, backfired in a way. And I'm like, well, because it was, like, the intervention was only supposed to be for a couple of months. But now it's been, like, six months. And I'm fighting to get her back. <laughs> you know, and stuff. And 
it's a mess, but I'm not going to put more. <laughs> That's a little bit of my personal. Anyway. Okay. That's another child. Believe me, they call all the time. It's right. So anyway, um, when they're at their friends. Anyway. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Um, somebody's been trapped and stuck in something, but the Six of Swords is coming out of it. Better times, moving on, progress, calmer waters. And sometimes there needs to be separations, like timeouts for different perspectives and to get to see things. Because it was like, I was showing my daughter every bit of love right in front of her and she wasn't seeing it. Like the, she was a teen, right? And I was still going and rearranging your room and making her bed and clean and setting up her things in her room. And she'd just come home like, mom, why were you in my room? And rip the curtains shut and like, just so, and I was like, she doesn't see anything that I'm doing for her, you know, and, and it's like, I know, I know that she must see that now, you know, or think about those times, like, maybe I was so mad at mom, maybe I was, I was mad at other things that I wasn't realizing the things that she was doing for me, right? So, Eight of Wands and the King of Swords is coming out while I was talking, though. Fast movement, rapid movement, conclusions, actions, result, activity, traveling, progress, Charity, authority, clarity, truth, analytical principles, reason, logic, power is coming out here. All right. I was talking, so we're going to keep going. I've seen another, it's in the page of wands again. All right. Let's look at the sun. As I look at the sun, I just felt like I just got warmed up too. Just got like really warm. Is that a baby alive dragon? Yeah. That's cute. Dragon symbolism. Three of swords and the five of wands came out on top of the sun. So I've been talking about... No, no. I've been talking about the ending, right? To this fighting, this battling, to this pain. Competition, conflict, fights and battle, challenges, strife, disagreement, and hassle. All that. It's interesting. It softens it. See? The sun is coming in to heal this. Blessings are coming in to heal this. Let's clarify the moon. You might not see these coming in. Knight of Wands. This is going to be fast movement. Brave, travel, energy, risk taker, adrenaline, daring, wanderlust, sudden, and rebel. There's a strong rebel energy. With the sun next to the moon, that's something special. That's about cosmic alignments. And the Knight of Cups is on the bottom. Take going after love. Going after something you love. It doesn't have to be a romantic off offer, right? But it's fast movement. King of Cups energy. Six of Wands. There's victory here over this devil energy. I feel like I gotta get faster. 28 away as I say that, because I've been talking a lot. I wanted to try to keep him around 20 minutes. That little lotus is getting closer too. I need to get him outside. Devil came right back out on top of the world. Toxic cycles. Um, there's definitely been strong patterns. Obsession, control, domination, addictions. There could be addictions. Materialism can very much be an addiction. Physical, electronics. Don't even get me started on the electronics and the devices. You know, that could be, could have been a ruling factor too. Um, the wheel of destiny is here. Major changes are definitely coming about. But see, eight of cups. There's uh, moving on break up, walking away, leaving the past behind, abandonment. You really have to leave the past behind to be able to move forward. You take them as learning lessons, but you release the emotional attachment to them. It's like, do I regret how things have played out in my past? Yes. But, you know, now that I have the knowledge, would I handle them differently? Yes. But am I going to stay in that guilt and shame? And no, because that's not going to help me make movements. So, judgments being called now it's now time to make a choice now you have this knowledge how would you move forward right transformation rebirth awakening this is where the judgment card for me is where now you command the universe you tell the universe what you want desire you can basically and this is where you just sit in your own thoughts or sit 
write things down or whatever but this is where like you tell yourself this to a lot of times I say it's like you talking to your inner child you know like if you're the parent like if you're if you were to tell yourself you know like okay if I could do this again well I learned that this didn't work out I'd handle it differently but you know what I forgive you so basically you say like you forgive your inner child so it's like I tell myself like all right I forgive you for you handled that the wrong way it went the other way so now we know next time it's better to handle things through love than through you know this way it didn't work so forgive yourself that didn't work now rethink it now you know, and then you tell the universe what you want to desire, like, all right, well, I need to do over, or I need this, or, you know, th that's literally what you do, you take in charge and authority over your life, emperor energy coming out here, so it's very beautiful, king of cups energy, anybody can embody these energies, right, and this is very strongly, I feel, somebody that's going to be taking authority over their life, by doing so too, you're balancing out your energies, it's interesting. This King of Cups has got the octopus. I've been seeing a lot of symbolism. I kid you not, like, I pay attention to that, right? It's in the new deck that I got, the female version of the King of Cups. She's got octopus for hair, and just like he does in here. Different creators, right? They are. It's very beautiful. But anyway, so I had seen octopus coming up on my news feed on Facebook, right? So there's that. And then, literally, I was coming out of a shop yesterday. And right as I was walking out of the door, because my boyfriend was holding the door for me, a child had ran in, and he literally almost ran right into me. But I stopped, and right in front of me, I looked right at his necklace, and he had a beautiful necklace of an octopus on it. And I was just taken back. I was just like, oh, my gosh. Like, it was right in my face, right? So, and there's significance that I brought that up now, and that I'm seeing this, and it was a child right it was a little boy I don't know if that's significant now there's two lotuses I told you there's something about children there's one on the inside of my window which I need to let him out but then there's one on the outside it's like a teaming up like he's coming what is going on with the lotuses right now I'm in Florida I don't know is it is it time for all of them I don't know there's something about that though the child and the octopus and the symbolism and it all ties into everything so six of wands is on the bottom victory with the magician and that beautiful I've been talking about sunflower energy and the yellows and the oranges it all ties in and all goes together very much does but all right guys 3244 as I say that I'm closing out this reading I'm sending love and light to all of you definitely feel free to take a look at whatever you feel guided to all of my readings are timeless but whenever you come into a reading if you check surrounding readings and you can search them too I think if you search the title it'll pull it up and you should be able to see a lot of times they go together right as I do know that these readings are going off of off of um, my other readings so anyways love and light to all of you bye guys Oh, subscribe if you have not. So that way we'll be connected. You'll get notifications of whenever I drop my videos, right? Because it is fun when you catch them in real time. Because I do talk about cosmic alignments as cosmic divine seeker. I'm going that way with more of the cosmic alignments. But it's like I'm still just being freestyle, whatever I feel guided to. So I'm doing that in with more of my astrology. And I'm definitely going to be doing more readings on the nodes now that we are in the the new nodes of Aries and Libra, which Libra is justice, baby. So I really feel that a lot of like karmic cycles and situations are closing out because it is time for justice to be restored. Yes, it is, babies. <laughs> all right. Love and light to all of you. Bye.